Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be replacing a few modules in my Prius hybrid battery. It's a second generation uh, Prius. I've been inside this battery pack a few times before, uh, replaced the modules in the past, cleaned up the bus bars, but I still am getting the P0A8, P0A80 hybrid battery fault code. So I'm gonna go back in, test all the batteries with a load, and see which ones are bad, replace them, and then replace the bus bars. So, battery's out. I have a video on this. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you can watch that if you need help taking your battery out. And here is the battery on the chair. There's a cover on the battery, just a few 10 mil bolts. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like inside. There's gonna be some plastic covers that clip on like so, you just pop them off. These are eight mil nuts. You remove them, then you can see the bus bars beneath them. Uh, these little wires here are your block voltage sensors, so they measure the voltage of two, um, two of your battery modules, and that's how your, your Torque Pro uh, has that voltage readout. But anyways, remove them on both sides. Remove this little ventilation tube. They just pop out like that, and then we'll be ready to test the modules and see which ones are bad. So I have all the bus bars on unhooked on both sides and the little thing I have rigged up here is that wire goes to this light bulb that one to the positive probe and what I'm doing here is I'm testing the voltage of these um, hybrid battery modules with a load on it and what I'm hoping is that with this load it'll show any weakness in the batteries these batteries could potentially have you know, good voltage unloaded, but with a load load on it, it could potentially show um, a little bit of a drop in voltage. So that's kind of been what I've what I've been seeing about 7.3 to 7.4 with a light load on it. So I'm just going to go down the line and test all 28 modules and see which ones are the lowest, and then go ahead and replace those weak ones. So once you've determined which ones are your bad modules, it's as simple as undoing these 12 mil bolts, 10 mil nut here, um, I don't think there's a 10 mil nut here, and then this pops off, and then underneath, you go ahead and undo these, yeah I broke one, oh well, uh, these 8 mil bolts, and that will loosen up the individual modules from the housing and you just go down as far far down the line as you have to I didn't have to go too far so yeah mine's uh mine are all replaced we're all good to go and these bus bars like to corrode pretty easily I had actually cleaned these about 8,000 or 9,000 miles ago and this is what they look like so what I'm gonna be trying are these I believe they're tin coated but they're new bus bars I got on eBay. You can just Google Prius bus bars and they'll come up. They claim to be uh, more corrosion resistant than copper. And what corrosion does is it increases the resistance from module to module and that decreases your overall voltage and kind of inhibits current flow. So it's always good to have very clean, if not brand new bus bars. So from here, it's essentially reverse of removal. Put your, your bus bars into these little slots, bolt it back up, put the cover on, put the battery back in, and you're good to go. So here we are with the final assembled product. It's pretty straightforward, not too difficult at all. If you can turn, turn a wrench and you have an 8 mil and a 10 mil and a 14, you can disassemble your battery. Uh, the risk of high voltage shock is fairly low. You'd have to touch in a very specific place. And as long as you have the orange plug out, you're not totally safe, but it cuts the voltage uh, in about half, so it's a lot less dangerous. I don't even wear any protective gloves or clothing or anything like that. Um, yeah, because like I said, you have to touch in very specific spots to get shocked. Uh, so anyways, this is a brief overview on how to rebuild your battery pack. I hope this helped a few people. Uh, let me go around one more time. 
and just show you everything in case you're using this as a reference. And uh, there are clips at the bottom of these batteries. Uh, I have mine on the second one. One is somewhere around here. And then uh, the other one is um, somewhere back here. And I believe those are temperature sensors to uh, get temperature readings at three different spots in the pack. It doesn't really matter specifically where they go. You just kind of want them in the neighborhood of like last or one end, kind of middle-ish, and then the other end. So anyways, hopefully this uh, help you, helps you. Sub to the channel if you haven't. Give this video a like. Share this to your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.